You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. A Manning Passing Academy was this weekend. Uh, Miles Brennan was there. And interestingly enough, Miles Brennan and Max Johnson, former teammates, now SEC West opponents, are roomed together at the Manning Passing Academy. Um, and Miles Brennan, part of, of the Manning Passing Academy, of course, is that you have the college guys that are the counselors for the high school guys. And then there's also like a skills day where the, the counselors throw. And Keishon Butte was down there as well, running routes and looking really good doing so, which was fantastic to see. But all of the, all of the quarterbacks present also have media availability during the Manning Passing Academy. And so did Miles Brennan, the you know the first time that we've really got to, to see Miles Brennan speak here in this offseason, post spring certainly. And um it's he's an interesting story. He's he's an interesting character in this college football season. That goes without saying. You're talking about a guy who number one, he's an he's an oddity because he's playing a sixth season, which doesn't happen much. And the fact that he's in his sixth season at the same school is also an oddity because guys just don't stick around. He's he's a unicorn. I mean, he's he's an outlier in the way that he's gone about his college career, the way that it's unfolded, and now this is kind of his last chance. And that's something that Miles Brennan reflected on at the Manning Passing Academy. Coming out of high school, that you're going to LSU for six years, you're going to get hurt twice, you're not going to start until COVID year. COVID's going to happen. I would have said I'm hanging it up now, like I'm done. Uh, but. So just know that life is just ups and downs, and you just got to put your head down and keep going. And I think the ones who do that are the ones who succeed. His maturity and his approach is a reason I think a lot of fans like Miles Brennan and cheer for Miles Brennan, quite honestly. There are examples to the contrary, but he's a guy that has stayed grounded, obviously is very mature, comes from a good family that has a sports background, but, uh, but has just stayed the course, which is, I think, a bit of a throwback, which is something a lot of us sort of yearn for. Um, but Brennan also talked about his resiliency, overcoming injuries and such. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have never thought it would have been like this. Um, I think that things ha I know things happen for a reason. Um, and if there was anybody that I'd want this to happen to, it would be myself. You know, because I know the adversity that I faced throughout my life. Um, and this is just part of it. And it's for me personally, it's like bring it on, you know. I challenge me, um, so I, it's just it, it's been it's been good. I don't quit. I don't give up, um, and I'm excited for what's ahead. So uh, what's ahead now is his sixth and final college season, an opportunity to be the starting quarterback at LSU, but something that's not going to be given him because there's a guy that started 30 college games in the same quarterback room as he is. And so Miles Brennan, in being at LSU this year, isn't even guaranteed of being the quarterback at LSU this year. Still, he was asked about his goals for the 2022 season. Right. I mean, obviously, step one, you know, be the starter. I mean, that's obviously. I mean, that should be all of our goals, which I think it is. Um, and then, you know, obviously, be a leader. You know, stay in shape, get strong, be healthy, learn the offense. You know, I mean, continue to build on the offense, grow, and go out and have fun. I don't. Every day that goes by is a day less I have in college. So I'm just enjoying it every day I can. Everything he said after the first part of that answer, which is be the starter, is in many ways irrelevant. Um, because for Miles Brennan, it's the only way the season's going to be judged. Because the only reason he's still at LSU, and the reason that he initially entered the portal, was to have the opportunity to go be a starting quarterback to put one year of film out for NFL scouts before he tries to make a step to the next level. So... If Miles Brennan does, in fact, stay at LSU for the entirety of this season and does not become the starting quarterback, I, there are examples of quarterbacks that have taken that path and still made it. Um, we've talked about Matt Castle before. Matt Castle never played at Southern Cal. He was Matt Liner's backup, never played, still got drafted, spent more than a decade on NFL rosters, made a ton of money. So there, there is precedent to be able to make to, an NFL career out of something out of having never played in college, but it's also... Very, very much an outlier. But then again, as we said, Brennan's entire career has been somewhat of a statistical outlier where he is right now. Uh, but he's also going to have to do it under a new staff. And keep in mind, this this might be the thing that gives Brennan the advantage. When he showed up at LSU, he was recruited by Les Miles and Cam Cameron. Remember, that's where he committed. He showed up in 2017, and Ed Ogeron was his head coach, and Matt Canada was his OC. And then, very quickly, Steve Ensminger was his OC. 
And then we saw Joe Brady come in as passing game coordinator after Jerry Sullivan was removed from that position. And then Ensminger left. And then we saw what we saw in the 2020 COVID season. And now the injury last year with an, but now a new head coach. You understand, like, the dude's been through a ton, a ton of turnover in his in his college career, and the transition to a new staff is shouldn't be anything new at all to Miles Brennan. It was a big transition, you know, and I mean, I, I the, the the staff that that just got let go, I was with for four and a half, five years. So it's like we completely went 180 degrees, like clean slate. But it's been good. I mean, they're all awesome people. They're smart, and I'm 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 fired up. So Brennan, who's dealt with that transition throughout his career, will have to do it again. See if he can win the job and uh, make the most of it. I'm I'm very curious uh, for him this season. I think everybody's kind of pulling for Miles Brennan for for many obvious reasons. Some of which which we said here, but I, I also and I, I know many people don't agree with me on this. T Bob and I actually got into a con into a, a sort of a, a conversation about this on the last Scone and T. Even though Brennan's been around for six years, dude just hadn't played. He played in three games. He started three games in 2020. He started three games before he got injured and then missed all of last year. And the three games, it, it's a small sample size, but we forget Brennan wasn't good in those games. Like You could look and say, well, he threw for 1,100 yards in three games. That's true. But he completed just over 50% of his passes. He was indecisive. It didn't look good. I mean, you look at the Missouri game where he threw for 400 yards, which he did, but he also attempted 50 passes in that game. 50 passes. Like, we saw that kid Costello from Mississippi State throw for 600 yards against LSU, and two weeks later was benched and never played again. Like, just because you compiled numbers with a giant amount of passing attempts doesn't mean you were good. So I'm that, for me, is going to be the big question for Brennan. Size, yes. Arm strength, unquestioned. Moxie, leadership, uh, maturity, uh, check, 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 all of it. But like, can he go perform at the highest level in key moments? And we just haven't seen him do it. So he's going to have to answer that question. Um, hopefully he gets a chance. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.